evening. I'm Erin Cargyle. We are all used to being stuck in traffic here in Central Texas, especially on I-35. But state leaders are working on a plan for a stretch of the interstate known for getting really bad. They are considering adding a toll lane from US 183 all the way up to Ranch to Market 1431. KXA's Lauren Kravitz spoke to drivers who are skeptical this plan will work. It's not exactly music to the ears of drivers. The sound of Interstate 35. You have pockets of uh, congestion, especially here in Round Rock, once you hit Parmer Lane, uh, North Austin. North 16, as the Texas Department of Transportation is calling it. TxDOT is working on a project to add two express toll lanes on I-35, covering the 16-mile stretch between US-183 and North Austin to RM 1431 in Round Rock. But not all drivers are sold on the idea, especially after seeing the delays on adding express lanes to Mopac. The congestion that is causing over there is, is totally unnecessary. And not everyone wants to pay for more space on the road. I think it's just going to take that option away from a lot of people who can't afford it. TxDOT also wants to add more infrastructure for bicyclists and pedestrians, like sidewalks along the I-35 frontage roads, and add extended entrance and exit ramps to give drivers more room to merge. I'm not really sure of anything they could do to fix it at this point. All they had to do was add another lane. Instead of a toll line. Different ideas with the same goal to get cars moving along one of the most congested highways in Texas. Lauren Kravitz, KXAN News. TxDOT is holding an open house tomorrow night from 4.30 to 6.30 at Cedar Ridge High School in Round Rock. You can look at the project, ask questions, and give feedback. Even with the plans on paper, don't expect new road construction anytime soon. Right now, TxDOT wants to finalize their plans by next winter. Construction, though, would not begin until the spring of 2020. It's expected to be complete around the end of 2022. That may seem like a long time, but compare that to the timeline of the MOPAC project. They began studying the area in 2010. Construction started in October of 2013 and it is still not done.